We're here today for the finals of Dance Your City 3, which is an online competition which invites young people to make a one minute film of a piece of dance they've created in their city. I'm really, really pleased to be a judge here for Dance Your City today. I think Dance Your City is one of those really, really exciting opportunities that really allow young people across the whole of the UK to sign up, get involved and have an amazing opportunity to come and perform at a world-class venue like the Barbican. Dance Your City um, was fantastic in the sense that the relationship we have with Dance Touring Partnership, which allowed uh, Boy Blues Show The Five to go on tour around the country, and there to work with all these young young groups of aspiring dancers who um, in their turn you know, could be creative and, uh, and have a go themselves which is so exciting. Dance Your City last year was absolutely amazing so our young people were just kind of starting and um, getting to grips with performing and rehearsing and entering competitions um, so for them it was a really unique opportunity for them to come together and um, celebrate dance and um, practice performing. A really amazing experience really like we work, we work so hard as a group and we just like, we've all c connected together and um, we've got here so hopefully we win. We hope it will give us a bit more like, um, well first of all like experience obviously in performing and then maybe like, open more opportunities. Yeah, give us more opportunities. It's crazy to be here like, and performing our own choreography and to possibly win and then perform it again. So, uh, Normally when you're in a, a dance company you don't get the opportunity to mix with other dance companies across the UK so Dodge City is quite a, a genius project where three different groups are coming together, we're sharing a changing room today so all the young people get to meet and chat with other young people. There's something about the buzz that you get when performing in front of an audience um, rather than just performing. Uh, you get feedback from the audience and that's what I love about performing as well. It's great for these guys to um, come up and actually take in part in something on, on a much bigger scale up here in London. Because even though we have amazing opportunities and great performances down in Cornwall, it's great for these guys to actually come up to our capital and, and enjoy their dance. Especially if we're something which we're carrying on to to train professionally, to actually come here, get a taste of London at this early stage in their careers, really good. The winners with 125 points is Freeman! I think with a competition like this, especially when you're from outside of London and you're coming to London to showcase yourself, um, it's definitely empowering. It's motivation, it's motivational, um, and it, has, it, it I feel it so it builds self-esteem self-confidence and a lot of team building. You could see that after they performed, the dancers came together as a family unit and with a dance crew, that's what it is. We've, like for us as Boy Entertainment, we're like a, that, that family unit, that crew. And we saw that today and, and I hope that with competition like this, it pushes them and it motivates them to, to want to do more, want to be more. And instead of just being dancers, grow to become performers and then grow to become artists. We're absolutely delighted. It's an absolute pleasure. And well done to the other two groups. They were absolutely inspirational too.